Hi guys, so before you watch the video, I just want to let you know that some parts of the video, the audio seems to go a little bit faster or slow. I don't remember than the video, but it's just for some parts of it. And my background is a bit noisy because everybody is at home. So enjoy my video, subscribe, share, leave a like, turn on your post notification. Oh, enjoy. Hi guys, for this video I'll be showing you how I use a tuna plant on my face and in my hair also. This video is about using it on my face and the effect. This is what it looks like if you don't know. It's similar to the aloe vera plant but it doesn't have a bitter taste and it doesn't smell as bad. I think it has the same effect. I'll probably better. So. This is it. It has in the gel-like substance like the aloe vera plant and it has a scoop or a scrape it's all just the same. So here it is. I'm going to I think I'm going to read you the benefits of using the aloe vera plant. I think I'm gonna read you the benefits of it after to see how good it is. Well I do know so I've been using the aloe vera plant on my face for the past week. And I'm seeing improvements so far. Like my spots aren't as light. I mean, <laughs> they aren't as dark anymore. Actually, it's getting really lighter, and I have like pimples on my face. So I'm going to show you what I do. So I went ahead and pre scooped the gel from it, and I put it in the fridge. Put it in a ziplock bag and put it in the fridge for storage. So I took it out for it to get for it to be defrost for it to defrost. Sorry, man. <laughs> I take it all for defrosting purposes, and this is how it looks right now. It still looks well healthy and stuff. So, yeah. So I'm going to show you how I apply it and what it looks like. And I'm telling you, the smell is okay. Like it don't smell bad in at all. It really doesn't. It actually has a good smell when I can work with it. It almost I have no smell. It smells like leaf. What I do is take out some. Sorry. See right there, I take out some and put this on my hand. And then I use my hand, my fingers, sorry, to spray it. I use my fingers to spread it. So this is what it looks like when it's applied. It's soft and it looks, it gives you a glow and it is slimy. Until it's dried, it won't be as slimy anymore. I normally leave it for like 10 to 15 minutes to see the real effect of it. So in the meanwhile, while this is drying, I'm going to do a Q&A using questions that I'm, oft, uh, that I'm often asked. <laughs> Excuse me. So I have six questions. Six interesting questions. So the first one is, what is my name? Hmm. Sorry about that. My light died. My selfie light it died. So the first question is, what is my name? My name is Saskia M. Bedford. Um, comment below and try to guess what the M stands for. It has men in it at the start. It says Saskia, men something, something, something. Like for it. My grandmother gave the name to me before she died. The second question is, second question is what do I study at Maritime? I go to Caribbean Maritime University, just in case you don't know. I'm a Maritime student. Um, when I was 
in first to second year, I studied logistics, logistics, supply and trade management. And in third year, I got to major. Don't remember back when I was at BBs at home. Anyways, in third year, I started to major in international shipping. And I so my selfie light died and my storage was full. So I'm getting it stopped. Anyways, second question, I think that's where I left off. I was in Maritime, Caribbean Maritime University. In first year, I was studying logistics. First, second year, I was studying logistics because I never had a choice as what I was given. Then in third year, I got to major to choose what I wanted, what I wanted to study. Third. In third year, I got to choose what I wanted to study. So I chose to study international shipping. And I had to pay, I actually had to pay to change it, you know, because I didn't remember that I chose logistics as being a major. I thought it was just for first and second year. So I had to pay an amount of money to change it from logistics to international shipping. So I'm studying international shipping. Why I chose international shipping, I think it is, it's a, uh, as, it's, as the name states, international shipping. So I think it's not just local, but international. And then I really want to be on the seas. So that's the other reason why I chose it. Don't mind my background, please. Everybody's at home. I'm not, do not mind my background. So the third question is, what do I do for fun? I am kind of a boring person. In the life of normal people, on a scale of 1 to 10, I am considered as probably as a 6. I am a boring person. Okay? So, I like to sleep. I like to sleep mostly because I go to my bed really late in the night. I'm not a morning person. So, I sleep and I hang out with my friends and I'm on social media. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, and I love, I love, love, love going to church. It's not really something else I do for fun, but that's my happy place. I think I stated this before in a previous video, but that's my happy place. The fourth question is, how do I operate under the strict rules of my church? I am often asked that question. So I go to Emmanuel Apostolic. I'm not going to say which one, but I go to the internal apostolic, one of the branches. And we have a lot of rules. Well, most of the rules that is there to guide us. Guide us. So we're not supposed to do braids, we're not supposed to wear pants, sleeveless, jewelry, etc. Well, I never really had a I don't really have a big problem with it because I grew up in this. I grew up in this, so I didn't know anything else. So I don't really have a problem with this. Besides on the fact that I have 4C here, so it just really, really, really coarse, and it it just never did work for me. So I braided my hair, and well, the pants issue, it was an issue to me at first, but I just gradually let go of it because. I know that is something that I'm not supposed to do, so I just like both of it. The fourth, no lie. The fifth question is, what, what's it like being at CMU? CMU is a good school. I mean, every school has its little flaws and so on. You know what I'm looking for? But CMU is a good school. It is one of the schools, it is the only school in Jamaica that gives you full logistics. Not basic logistics, but full logistics. Um, we are currently expanding on the campus, and you know that this the school it's in between a lake and the sea, something like that. So we can't really build any concrete concrete buildings. We have to like our buildings are made from containers and. Yeah. So CMU is a fun school. I mean, there are people that are always looks out for you. The, the previous president, Mr. Fritz, he was so nice. And even our present acting president, he is a he's a good man too. CMU is a good family. 
the last and final question is a lot of people ask me this you know why i started a youtube channel <laughs> i started a youtube channel because i told myself that i am going to be more than the ordinary and i don't just want to be remembered as saskia Nothing is wrong with just being remembered, being remembered as your name, you know, nothing is wrong with that. But I wanted to be remembered as more than just Saskia. Who was that girl again? Saskia. Who that girl is? Saskia. Who was Saskia? Nobody would not know. Don't it. So I started YouTube because I wanted to be more than the ordinary and I wanted my opinions to be heard. I wanted to share who I am. I wanted people to know that you can do this too. You don't have to be all up in society to do this. So I wanted people, like younger people or whoever to know that you can do this too. Um, and I don't know. I find it as being a fun platform. So yeah, that's my reason for starting a YouTube channel. So that's the end of my Q and A's. Yeah, I'm gonna write the proper ones. That's it. So before I put the aloe vera plant on my face and I left it for some time, and it's currently dried. So it not even look like anything that I need besides these. So it's currently dry, and I'm going to wash it off. I use Simple products, the brand Simple, because they work for me, so I stick to this brand, Simple. Look a bit of focus. Yeah, I stick to this brand, Simple. So I'm going to apply the Simple to my face to wash off the aloe, I mean, why I say aloe vera? To wash off the tuna plant, and let's see the results after. So I just washed it off my face. Make sure that when you wash it off, you use a clean towel to dry your face. Because you don't want to, put, to be putting on bacteria on your face. And don't be wiping your face like, no, that's how it just irritates your face. So gently just pat your face until it's all dry. So this is what it looks like. It has a soft feeling, it's smooth, and it gives you a glow. Um, yeah, so subscribe to my channel, um, leave a comment, like, share, all the nice things then. <laughs> um, see you in my next video guys, bye.